Hi there, thank you so much for joining me today. This is Julie DiMatteo from thepaperpixie.com and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the US. And in this video tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make this really cute house box. And inside it, I have one of the Vaseline Lip Therapy. So the square part of this box measures two and a quarter inches square, which is perfect for one of these as a holiday gift. I'd love to give credit for the style of this box to the blog Steam and Flow, and I resized it to fit one of those Vaseline lip therapies. So let me show you how fun and easy this is to make. We're going to start with a piece of cherry cobbler cardstock that measures six and three eighths inches by five and a quarter inches. And along the six and three eighths inch side, we're going to score this at two and a quarter, three, five and a quarter, and six. I'm gonna rotate it clockwise and we're gonna score this at three quarters, three, and then these next two score lines, we're only gonna score in these two larger sections. So let me show you the template really quickly. We only want to score at four and one eighth and four and seven eighths in these two larger sections. There's a couple of different ways to do that. One is you can just eyeball it, or what you can do is bring in a ruler, so four and one eighth, and then I'm just gonna score down to this first horizontal score line, then I'm gonna skip to the next section and score there, and then four and seven eighths. Okay, so we've only got those short score lines there. Then I'm gonna bring it back to the six and three eighths inch side. Again, that's where we have those partial score lines. Those are towards the top. And I'm gonna score down to the second score line at one and one eighth and four and one eighth. Okay, so here's the template again. We just did these short score lines here, like so. Okay, now we're gonna come in and do our diagonal score lines. And those are gonna start at the bottom of these short score lines and score at an angle down to the corner of these intersections here. So I'm just gonna take my ruler, start my stylus, and I'm using the smaller ball tip end, place that where I want it to start. So I'm putting it right at the bottom of this short score line. And I'll bring my ruler up to it and score at the diagonal. Do the same thing over here in the same direction. Then I'm gonna rotate it and go the other direction. And there I have my diagonal score lines, just like the template, okay? So the next thing I'm gonna do is fold and burnish on all the score lines that go all the way across the paper, all the vertical and horizontal score lines like so. Now we're gonna do a little bit of cutting away. So first we're gonna cut this top corner rectangle on the right and this bottom lower rectangle on the right. And while I do that, I'm gonna just slightly miter in or notch in this little side tab here. So then we're left with this little 3 eighths of an inch side tab that's been mitered in. Then I'm gonna cut up each of these vertical score lines, stopping at the first horizontal score line and I'm gonna notch in those little tabs here. Okay, like so. Now, along the top, first thing I'm gonna do is to cut these long tabs. And the reason for those long tabs is that those are going to completely cross from one side to the other and gives the box a really nice finish there on the top. So I'm gonna cut straight down those score lines. Like so. Now the last piece we're gonna cut away, I'm gonna fold these tabs kind of out of the way here. We're gonna remove these top 3 8 inch sections on both of these large sections because we don't need that extra paper. There, now looks like the template. Now the next thing we can do is come in and fold and burnish on the remaining score lines. And then for the little short score lines and the diagonal score lines, I'm just going to slightly bend on the diagonal and then pinch so it looks like this. Now what we can do is fold these diagonal score lines flat and then I'm gonna come in and burnish them now. And you can start to see that house top coming together. I'll do the same thing on the other side. 
like so. Now before we put this box together, I'm gonna go ahead and glue some designer series paper. First, I have two pieces of the Festive Farmhouse designer series paper and they measure two inches by two inches. We're gonna glue those down to these sections here. Then I have one square that measures one and a quarter by one and a quarter. And with this one, I'm just gonna cut at the diagonal from corner to corner. And these two pieces are gonna fit up here in our triangle house top here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue those into place. Okay, now we can start to put the box together. So I'm gonna flip this over. I'm gonna fold on the second score line from the left and put glue right on that little 3 eighths of an inch tab. Then I'm gonna fold from the first score line on the right and those should line up. Now what we can do is close the bottoms. Here's our seam, this is the back panel of the box. So I'm gonna turn it around, this is our front panel. I fold in the tabs, fold in the back, and then fold in the front here. Then we can go ahead and put our little Vaseline Lip Therapy in the box, fold in those long tabs, and then we can fold the top into place. Now it'll take a little bit of work as, this pa as the paper fibers start to break in, but you'll find that once you fold that into place, it's gonna hold itself together. And it's just a really sweet house box. I love how that looks. Now we're gonna do a little bit of stamping. So I'm using the stamp set Dashing Deer and the sentiment Many Merry Thanks. I'm gonna stamp that in Cherry Cobbler onto Whisper White. I'm gonna punch that out using the one and a half inch circle punch. And then I'm gonna punch out a one and three quarter inch circle from Gray Granite. And then using the sprig punch, I'm gonna punch out two sprigs from the Joyous Noel Glimmer Paper, and this is the Cherry Cobbler version of it. And then we're gonna to start to layer pieces together. So first, I'm gonna glue down the gray granite circle to the front of the box. Then I'm gonna glue each of the glimmer paper sprigs. Just gonna put a little bit of glue along the bottom two leaves on either side. And then what I wanna make sure is as I put this lower one down, I wanna make sure that that leaf doesn't go beyond the bottom so that the box will be able to stand up on its own easily. We'll glue the other one above it on an opposite angle. Then we'll pop this up on dimensionals. And then using the Dark Cherry Cobbler Stampin' Blends, I'm gonna grab the brush tip end and we're gonna color one of our clear rhinestone jewels and this is gonna make it match the glimmer paper. I'll go ahead and pick that up. What I love about the alcohol Stampin' Blends is that we can change a lot of our clear embellishments to any color we like. And we'll just add a little bit of bling there. So voila, there is our beautiful little house box sized to fit the Vaseline Lip Therapy tin. Again, this is two and a quarter by two and a quarter. I know there's other things that this box would fit, but I just love how it turned out, especially for the holidays. So thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my next video. If you're interested in purchasing any of the Stampin' Up! products I used today, they'll be linked in the description. And I'll also include a link to my detailed blog post with all project measurements, details, and a picture of the template. I'd love to have you come visit me at thepaperpixie.com where I post projects every weekday to inspire you. I have options to subscribe to both my daily blog updates as well as my monthly newsletter, and I'd love to welcome you as a new subscriber. You can shop with me anytime at thepaperpixie.com shop. And if you're interested in earning a discount on your Stampin' Up! purchases, I'd love to have you join my team of Paper Pixies. And you can purchase the starter kit at thepaperpixie.com join. If you give this project a try, I'd love to see it, so feel free to share it on social media with the hashtag PaperPixie, and I'll be sure to check it out. Thanks again for watching. I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day, and happy holidays. Take care. Bye.